Shadow Ridge High in the north end of the Las Vegas Valley has set the standard for women's flag football in recent years, winning three straight 5A state championships and being the Max Preps national champions two of the last three years. To get back to back was one thing, but to get back to back to back, I think it kind of took a little people by surprise, like, oh, they really just did that three times. The Mustangs have galloped to greatness since 2021, claiming the first ever Class 5A flag football state titles winning 67 games to just eight losses in that span, and not dropping a road game since January 2020. You know, the last few years when we've lost some games, we've lost them early in December or January, and we're always trying to get better and be our best in February. Two is the magic number for Shadow Ridge. In the playoffs, they've never allowed more than two scores, and have never won by less than two scores. Last season, the 5A champ Mustang shut out the state champion teams in 4A and 3A, proving to be the cream of the Nevada flag football crop. You have a lot of pressure on you, a target, which I, I think is actually cool. Knowing that we have a target on our back, we all push each other when we're practicing, and then when it comes down to the playing time and when we're actually in game, like I think we all just want to dog out. Former player and longtime boys football coach Matt Nicewanger has led the team since its inception 10 years ago. I think the girls really have bought into and enjoy being coached as I would coach the boys. We, we watch film, we scout our opponents, I treat them as any other football player and I think that really helps. It's not just X's and O's that's allowed Shadow Ridge flag to thrive. It is hard because it's a group of 25 girls that aren't necessarily always best friends but their ability to put their differences aside and come onto the field and do what's asked of them has been incredible. I love Honestly, the friendship and the family, it's definitely the bond that keeps me coming back. It's not only a sport, it's like a heartwarming, welcoming thing to do. It's like a hobby almost. The more the Mustangs win, the more girls in their community try a new sport. I would say that it's inspired a lot of young female athletes to try to come out and do something that's like not typically common for girls to play. Like it's not, you know, dance or gymnastics or volleyball. Like it's a sport that you know, a lot of people look to it as like only a men's sport. As we've won, we've got, gotten a lot of athletes from the soccer team, from the volleyball team, from softball and track in the spring. We have more girls trying out now than we did four years ago, definitely. Different girls coming in from middle schools, they, they all have a standard, we all, they all look up to us and we have something to prove every year. This year, one of the most proud things I was, we were also the academic 5A state champ. So we had two valedictorians that were just part of the team last year. We have five girls that are out on scholarship playing college flag football. So those kind of things I, I'm really, really proud of. Shadow Ridge flag isn't planning on slowing down anytime soon. To do the same thing, but by 10 times more, you know, we're going to come out more athletic, more stronger, more disciplined to come and get another one again. We're, we're always going to get everyone shot. We're always the big dog on the block. We're always, teams kind of look at us as a little bit of a bully, even though I, our girls are great. They definitely don't bully anyone. They may be on the field, but that's it. Just win, baby. The team's dominance is a microcosm of girls flag football exploding in Southern Nevada. The 2028 Olympic sport giving Valley high schoolers an unexpected new passion. Man, the Olympics, man, they've been opening up camps, different tournaments for the USA flag. I've been to a couple camps myself. They've opened up younger teams for USA. It's all to build it for the Olympics. It's just fun to hear it talked about as it kind of legitimizes it a little bit. You know, it makes, it makes the girls realize too, there's a lot of different pathways that are involved in this sport, where back in 2016, it was a secondary sport for most girls, where nowadays it's a lot of girls' primary sport. I've seen a lot of more club scenes for girls. I think it's become more of a welcoming sport for girls now. Uh, the people encourage you to come out. It's, it's fun, something to learn. There's coaches out here, they encourage you to try harder and be better every day. My ID, actually, my shirt actually, they have like ID camps up at the Raider headquarters where they invite like athletes to come out and to kind of just like showcase their talent and their skills. The rapid local growth of flag football is in part thanks to the help of the Raiders, the legendary NFL team playing in Las Vegas and being headquartered in Henderson since 2020. Yeah, they've encouraged it a lot. You know, they've helped us out. They've given us some sponsorships. They come out to some of our games and they help us. We use their practice facility a lot. They just inspire young female athletes or just athletes in general to just come out and do the sport. Oh, the Raiders have been phenomenal. I really can't give them enough credit. 
I, I mean, I was a Raiders fan before, but I'll always be a Raiders fan now for the support they've given us. They, they host our all-star games. They host these events for us. They help us out with, um, with the state championship games. They really have been phenomenal. Because anytime the Raiders are along, it just boosts the, the, the um, visibility of, of the sport. So they've been awesome. I really have to, uh, can't say enough good things about their help with that. The Mustangs kick off their season in early December and will go for a historic four-peat as state champs. From Shadow Ridge, I'm Nick Walters.